Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration. Thursday, May 2nd, 2024. May God be with you today and may His peace be on you. And as you go throughout the day, I pray that you will look to Him and that you will call upon Him because He cares about your well-being. Our reading today comes to us from Romans chapter 12, reading from verse 10 to 14. And it says, Be kindly affectionate one to another with brotherly love, in honor preferring one another, not slothful in business, fervent in spirit, serving the Lord. Rejoice in hope, patient in tribulation, continuing instant in prayer, distributing to the necessity of the saints, giving to hospitality. Bless them which persecute you, bless and not curse. Amen. We give God thanks again this morning for His words, His word of wisdom. And so this morning we are admonished that we should be kind towards each other. We should be affectionate and we should show brotherly love and we should not show favoritism. So in other words, we need to treat each other with the same respect and love. I know some of us have the tendency to give preferential treatment to those we prefer or those we like, but that is not the right way to go about things or the right attitude to have. The same way you would treat a brother is the same way you should treat a sister. God does not deal in preferential treatments. The same way he treats me is the same way he treats you. And so we are to love each other equally. We are to treat each other according to his will. We need to be more loving towards each other and more kind. Selfishness must not be represented among us as followers of Christ. Selfishness needs to be laid aside and we need to take on the attitude of love and forgiveness. Amen? We are encouraged that we are not supposed to be slothful in business. In other words, we must not be lazy. So whatever we are doing, we must do it to the best of our ability. We must find joy in what we do and do it as unto the Lord and not to man. Amen? We are encouraged to be fervent in the spirit. We need to serve the Lord earnestly. We need to, to, to be deliberate in our attitude as it relates to serving God. Don't let it seem like it's a job or it's a requirement. Do it because you love the Lord and you want to, to please Him. You want Him to be a part of your life and you want to be a part of His life. And in verse 12, there's this part I want you to pay keen attention to. It says we must what? Rejoice in hope. What does it mean to rejoice in hope? It means that you won't focus on your current situation. Say you are in a bind right now, but you are looking to the future with great expectation, understanding that this, your current situation, won't be like this forever. And so you are rejoicing in the victory that will come to you through the power of Christ. And so having that hope, you remain patient in your tribulation. You remain steadfast, looking to the future with great expectancy and hope. And you continue to pray for strength and to pray in faith, believing that one day God is going to take you out of this and you will get the victory. So you see why the hope that Christian carry is not the same hope that the world carries this is something that is unique to the life of a child of god 
And so we are encouraged that we need to practice these attitudes, these gems. Because when we do this, it will be a great witness to those around us and pull others to Christ. Because they will see our excitement and our joy and our peace and they would want to be a part of that. We are also admonished that we need to attend to the needs of the saints. So we need to care for those amongst our brethren, those in need, those who are less fortunate, those who need a helping hand. Whatever that need is, we as brothers and sisters should reach out to each other. That's what it means to be a community, to look out for each other, and that we must be hospitable. Amen? We need to be more loving and more joined together. We need to move as one and not as a separate. And finally, we are told that we should what? Bless them that what? Persecute you. So those who are constantly at you for no reason, those who mistreat you, those who abuse you, those who use you, those who do all manner of evil against you without a cause. The Bible is saying that we should what? Bless them. We should treat them better than they treat us. We should not treat them as they deserve. We should what? Bless and not curse. So when somebody does something to you, you don't tell them what color is their hair. You don't tell them the hottest word that comes to your mouth. But instead, you, you, you speak words of life to them. You be kind. You be positive. So don't stoop to their level, but lift yourself up even more by the grace of God, by standing in your integrity and remaining steadfast in the righteousness of Christ. So this is a lot for us to, to take this morning and to use in our daily lives. If our intention is to be better at who we are, to live a fulfilled and a positive life in this world, then these are the things or some of the things that we need to put into practice. So may God help us, may the Holy Spirit help us as we seek to walk in the righteousness of Christ and as we seek to stand in his favor and to do the things that he asks us to do and to be a part of. May God bless you and continue to keep you. Amen.